Hello friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making traditional porridge. It's uh, eight ingredients um, porridge and our first ingredient we have a mixture of sorghum, millet, cassava flour, um, sweet potato flour and lastly stinging nettle. Um, to our next ingredient we have peanut butter here we have black strop molasses this will add to the porridge for garnishing we have flax seeds raisins they are golden and a banana um, to two more ingredients which will add to the porridge you have jaggery you can use honey and lemon juice and definitely we'll need water which we we'll use to make the porridge so put to boil one cup of water with jaggery and meanwhile while it is boiling add some water to the flour this is in order to form a thick runny consistency paste which will add to our water in the sofria which is boiling there are people who are used to adding things like baobab, soya powder, which is okay, though not very okay, because soya flour and baobab are rich in calcium, and calcium have large particles which prevent the absorption of iron, so it will be good to have a good selection of your flour. So once this is mixed, we will pour it to our boiling water and stir quickly to avoid crumbling as you will see here so when choosing your flowers it's good to be informed of the nutritional value of the flour so that those which are rich in iron are put together like for our case millet is rich in iron um, sorghum is rich in iron and also vitamin b12 yeah cassava is a very rich starch which is good for your health so stir constantly until an, e an even consistency is achieved then allow it to boil uh, like you can see here it has begun boiling once it has begun boiling Reduce the heat to low and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes. This will enable the flour to cook. While this is simmering, I also wish to tell you that um, lemon juice is very rich in vitamin C. And adding it to our porridge will help in the absorption of iron. Vitamin C helps in the absorption of iron so it will do us good after 10 minutes you're now adding our molasses and we'll also add our peanut butter you can use almond butter or cashew butter or even any nut butter that you can get i'm avoiding sesame seeds because they have high calcium content and we would wish to benefit from each and every value of nutrient that is in this porridge this is after 15 minutes um, the porridge level has greatly reduced and after 30 minutes we'll put off our porridge and allow it to cool and once it has cooled add your lemon juice and stir in the porridge then pour it in your bowl in your breakfast bowl this is an ideal breakfast recipe see how thick it is oh my it is already appetizing i just love the color um and here we are ready adding our garnishing we have sliced some bananas there we are putting some flax seeds and next we'll add our raisins 
can do lots of toppings like pumpkin seeds poppy seeds you can do some nuts like peanuts walnuts depending on what you have see how beautiful that is remember when you eat eat this to the glory of god have temperance remember to be a channel of light god is calling us all to be channels of light if you like this recipe please give it a thumbs up if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel to support my ministry otherwise have a lovely day and enjoy